Hi, boys and girls. Hi. Hi. Tyler and I are in a different spot today. We made a pretty cool, quiet area because today is for the letter Q. And Q is for quiet. One thing you can do today is make a quiet area anywhere in your house. We took pillows off the couch, pillows off the beds. We piled them up. And we're pretty comfy here, right, Tyler? This is kind of nice. So we're going to relax. Yes, yeah, she's so tired because she she was going to sleep today, but she keeps coming out of her room. The stuffed animal. Oh, okay. All right. We're going to read the story called The Rainbow Fish. So she's tugged in right here. Yeah. The words are kind of small, so I have to read it like this, and then I will hold it up for you. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. Ooh, he's so pretty. <laughs> the other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. <clears throat> One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away, him, away when he swam by. He wasn't very nice, so none of the fish wanted to go by him. What good were the dazzling, oh, shimmering so scales? Yeah. Good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them. Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish, but if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she could help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. Humble doesn't want to lay in the pool. He wants to listen to the story too? Okay. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales? My beautiful shining scales? Never. How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little bluefish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much. The little bluefish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scales glittering in the water. Hmm, do you think that the little fish, the feeling that he's feeling is maybe happy? The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish stared, shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. He shared his scales. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. So the rainbow fish was finally happy when he learned how to share and be kind. Boys and girls, we are going to draw the rainbow fish today. I am going to just draw a fish shape. So a fish shape is kind of like an oval or a circle. 
and a triangle tail. And then it can draw one eye and the mouth. And then the rainbow fish is all different colors, right? So I'm going to color all different colors on my rainbow fish and I'll hold it up so you can see. I colored some red scales. Now I'll color some yellow scales. How about right here? Right there, okay. And now, how about right here? I'm gonna do another that, color. That yeah, that's like a run of blue there. I'll hold it up so you guys can see. I don't have my easel in our quiet area. And then I'm gonna fill them all up with colors. And then I thought it'd be kind of cool to give him one shimmering scale. I took a small piece of foil and I made a scale. And I glue it on. So you could do that too. You could draw a fish and you could you color in all different colors right, right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna glue his shimmering scale on and I made the rainbow fish. So that's a fun little art project that you guys can do. Now, since we're doing Q is for quiet, there's a game that I'd like to play with you guys called the quiet game. Let me share my screen. Combo and Jesse said they're scared. Oh, there's nothing to be scared of. All right, it's not a scary game, it's a fun game. So we're gonna play this game. I'm going to, oh, you know what? I've gotta stop the share because I forgot to share the sound. Let's try that one more time. One of the shows that it, uh, that, see, it was my favorite episodes of that oh, show. on the side, yeah, there's fun things on the side, but we're not watching those right now. We're gonna watch this. I know. I know. Okay. So here we go. machine. Click play to begin. This is our beginning sounds machine. We got it especially for our library because it's very quiet. Are you ready to try it? Let's go. Which of these words? Log, sock, zipper begins with this sound. Sock. That's it. Keep it quiet. Sock begins with the s sound. Let's try another one. Which of these words? Fire, jam, worm begins with this sound. Worm. You got it. Settle down. Worm begins with the w sound. Let's go again. Which of these words? Tire, violin, gold begins with quit it. Door begins with the d sound. Let's try another one. Which of these words? Nail, cheese. Hook begins with this sound. Cheese. That's it. Hey, knock it off. Cheese begins with the ch sound. Let's go again. Which of these words? Rake. Yarn. Bow begins with this sound. Er. Rake. You got it. Cut it out. Rake begins with the er sound. Let's try this one. Which of these words? Thimble. Sheep. Pie. Begins with this sound. Pie. That's right. Control yourself. Pie begins with the p sound. Let's try another one. Which of these words? Cup, tire, sock. Begin.
begins with this sound. K. K. Good job. Keep it quiet. K begins with the K sound. Let's go again. Which of these words? Worm. Jam. Sock. Begins with this sound. J. Jam. That's it. Settle down. Jam begins with the j sound. Let's try this one. Which of these words? Violin. Cheese. Tire. Begins with this sound. Hmm. Violin. You got it. Quit it. Violin begins with the v sound. Let's try another one. Which of these words? Fire, pie, rake begins with this sound. F fire. That's right. You are a quiet machine. Fire begins with the f sound. Let's go again. Which of these words? Door, cup, gold begins with this sound. G gold. Good job. Hey, knock it off. Gold begins with the g sound. Let's try this one. Which of these words? Nail, log, bow begins with this sound. E. Log. That's it. Cut it out. Log begins with the e sound. Let's try another one. Which of these words? Hook. Thimble, moose, begins with this sound. M, moose. You got it. Keep it quiet. Moose begins with the m sound. Let's go again. Which of these words? Zipper, yarn, sheep, begins with this sound. Z. Zipper. That's right. Oh. Quiet. That's funny. That quiet machine wasn't very quiet, was it? Oh my goodness. That's right, scary boys. when it keeps quiet. quiet. <laughs> so, boys and girls, today you try to find a quiet spot in your house, and you can do some quiet activities, quiet reading quiet coloring, or quiet nap. Bless nice. you. <laughs> Bye, boys and girls. Bye. Have a good day.